with the series approaching its mighty 20th anniversary. The JRPG franchise Star Ocean has a history that spans all the way back to the SNES era. The first game saw release on the Super Famicom, Japan's version of the Super Nintendo in the year 1996. Many of you are probably familiar with Nintendo's strict family friendly censorship policy during these times. Although the series has in fact not been censored on any Nintendo hardware. You see, Star Ocean 1 did not actually see a Western release until over 10 years later with the enhanced PSP version. It is much less common for PSP titles to suffer at the hands of censorship, but unfortunately the first game saw censorship very reminiscent of the days of old school Nintendo. One fairly old fashioned practice when bringing Japanese titles to the West is to remove any possibly offensive references to religion. This mentality is why it is only in Japan where the animation for the spell Cure All shows a Christian cross. Overseas the cross has been edited to completely mask its original design. Interestingly, the English PS1 release of the sequel used the cross just fine back in 1999, yet it would be censored as well when it came time for the PSP release. Whilst Cure All's cross was left unedited on the PS1, another cross found in the second game was not so lucky. This is taken from the final boss's ultimate attack, with the Japanese on the left and the English on the right. For the PSP release, the sight of crucifixion was again uncensored over in Japan, whilst in the West the attack looks like this. The PlayStation version of Star Ocean 2 was censored even further with its ice and creation system. Whilst in the West, players will be able to create consumable drinks, such as root beer, over in Japan many of these were instead alcoholic beverages, with the root beer example being straight up beer. This is also the reason why there are just so many different kinds of tea drinks. The pictures seem to suggest they pack a bit more punch than tea, which in Japan they do, with them being various types of alcohol instead. The censorship was retained in the PSP release, but the localizers seem to have got more creative with it. Beer was this time changed to cola, and its picture was edited to go along. All six of the drinks listed in the menu immediately following the beer are in fact alcoholic. Now, rather than simply lots of different types of tea, the corresponding drinks were changed to these. And whilst the awful cider may sound like booze, if you read the description, you'll discover it can't be due to salt being used instead of sugar during the fermentation process. In Japan, on the other hand, it is instead a bottle of a substance dubbed 100% hangover, which could be seen as another way of saying it's the most alcoholic drink known to man. The first game saw similar changes to alcohol outside of Japan, and as you can see, this is with it being given a teen rating, like its sequel. Compare these with the Japanese versions though, where they were given the lowest rating possible. For some reason, Star Ocean 2 was actually rated lower on the PlayStation, and this is with it containing this rather disturbing scene, which shows a group of men attack a young girl whilst she lies in a puddle of blood. On the PSP, the scene was completely removed in all but the Japanese version. 